Las Sendas Golf Club in Arizona is home to the Alice Cooper Rock and Roll Classic, an event that raises money for the Solid Rock Foundation. Two years ago, the charity opened an after-school centre in Phoenix to help teenagers build confidence by attending free daily lessons in music, art and dance. Alice calls in his friends from Hollywood and the music industry to help raise funds, and one of his regulars is KISS lead guitarist Tommy Taylor, who's full of admiration for the tournament's host. You know, Alice and Cheryl are, are great. Uh, when they call, uh, we show up and help support what they're doing. Obviously, raising money for after-school programs, solid rock programs is, is uh, a big deal. And, uh, you know, my, I tip my hat to Alice and Cheryl for having the, uh, you know, the, the, the energy and the time they put into put doing this kind of thing. And, and, you know, it should be an inspiration for all of us. Alice has been singing, writing and performing for more than four decades and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2011. On this weekend, though, the makeup comes off as Alice and his friends put on an all-star concert for the foundation. It tends to be an old-fashioned jam session where they play some tunes they're not usually known for. I really enjoy doing that because it's an opportunity to play a little uh, music that I normally wouldn't play, different songs, a slightly different genre of music, even though we're all rock and rollers. But playing with, with Don, for instance, uh, you know, playing Hotel California, some of the great Eagles songs, it's uh, something I normally don't get the chance to do, so that's fun and, and uh, you know, kind of a challenge for me to, to play some different kinds of music, and, and that's what makes life interesting. Alice regularly credits golf with saving his life. He plays six times a week, more than 300 rounds a year. And while his bandmate might not tee it up anywhere near that much, he does have a tidy handicap of 9.5 so plays often enough to keep his game pretty sharp. Now, golf is something that I really enjoy, obviously, and it's true, the more you play, the better you get, really, in terms of consistency. So these days I've been getting out maybe once a week, which is really good for me, because normally I, I don't get to play that much. So, But this year I've been spending a little more time on the golf course, and, uh, you know, the results uh, speak for themselves. To reach the top in sport or music takes incredible determination and discipline. Both are very technical and complicated fields, but Tommy's well placed to talk about each and believes there are great similarities between world-class golfers and world-class guitarists. Uh, you know, it's kind of a zen thing. If you can get into that zone where you're really not thinking technique so much anymore and you can just really relax and imagine a shot or if you're playing guitar, just hearing the song in your head, there's definitely a, uh, a similar kind of thing going on there. And, and that's probably true for you know anything you do. You know, the more you can just kind of relax, be in the moment, uh, I think you're gonna play or you know perform a lot better and be more relaxed doing it too. Tommy's love of the game extends to being a big fan of the PGA Tour. But rather than cheering for the high-profile flashy players like Tiger or Rory, his favourite is somebody a little more on the low-key side of the scale. One guy I really admire though is Matt Kuchar, and he's, uh, I just like his attitude, I like the way he uh, presents himself, and you know, he's always smiling and talking to people and very friendly, and you know, he's got a great single plane, golf swing, and you know, I, I just like him, I think he's really cool, so I'm always rooting for Matt. Kucha's position as one of the world's best means he gets to play at the Masters every year and soak up everything that's special about Augusta National. Very few people in the world are lucky enough to experience that piece of golfing paradise, but Tommy's one of them. Being in KISS certainly has its benefits. Doc McGee, our manager, is friends with some members at the Augusta National, so I got the opportunity to go out there and we went out the night before and had dinner in the members' uh, dining room, and uh, they're all wearing their green jackets, and uh, we actually spent the night in the butler cabin, and then we got up the next morning and played the, uh, the par three course, and uh, then went out and played uh, the actual golf course, so that was mind-blowing. Somebody who knows all about Augusta and its history is the four-time Masters champion Arnold Palmer. It turns out Tommy has a golfing connection with the man known as the King, as he took a few of his friends along to provide the musical entertainment for one of Arnie's charity fundraisers. I'm a member out of the tradition in the Quinta now, and uh, that's kind of his West Coast home. And, and uh, I've helped them out. Uh, we do a thing called the Arnold Palmer Scholarship uh, Fund, and we raise money for the, the employees uh, children to go to school and uh, anyway it's been great being involved with Arnold Palmer on that and, and you know he's a class act all the way and uh, you know 
one of the great legends of golf, no doubt about it. It seems unlikely that Tommy will be able to continue to play on a weekly basis over the Northern Hemisphere summer. Kiss is undertaking a huge tour to celebrate a pretty significant milestone that very few bands in the history of rock and roll have ever reached. It's a big year for Kiss. Uh, 2014 is the 40th anniversary of the band. Uh, although I haven't been in the band for 40 years, I've been around about 12 years playing lead guitar now and uh, this summer we're doing a huge tour, uh, summer tour through the United States, a little bit of Canada also, uh, 40 some shows through June, July and August, Def Leppard's going to be with us, you know, so it's a big package and a, and a big rock show and uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing everybody out there on the road, it's going to be a big time.